There's so much in Florence that we were gonna basically postpone till we came back, but we get to do it today. It's pretty interesting seeing the Alabama specific side of things here at this museum. This museum is so cool. It has blown away my expectations. So throughout her life, she championed the education and the cause to aid the blind and the deaf. Hi, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we left the United States and backpacked through 11 countries, all before deciding to come back home and try something completely new, pivoting into boat life. Our current adventure is America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile journey through small towns, big cities, and the wilderness from the eastern portion of the United States, through the Great Lakes and Canada, and down the Midwest rivers, all aboard our home on the water, Pivot. Make sure you subscribe as we share our journey through the highs, lows, and everything in between. Good morning, it is our second day on our Chattanooga side trip here on the Tennessee River. We got to Florence, Alabama yesterday from Iuka, Mississippi, and it was a wonderful day. We actually didn't know if we were gonna be staying here today or leaving until probably about an hour ago. And what kind of nudged us to stay was the next lock and dam, the Wilson lock and dam, is only locking pleasure craft three times a day. And so if we don't leave at dawn, we're not gonna to get to Decatur, which is the next town. So we decided to stay. For the trip today, we're gonna to be spending time with Colin and Wendy on detour, another set of loopers. They're from Canada, the Georgian Bay region. And we're gonna be sharing the courtesy car as we explore all the activities down and around Florence. Muscle Shoals Recording Studio, or the Sound Studio. And this has a pretty prominent place in history in terms of recording music in the United States. I'm really, really excited to be here to check it out. For its modest appearances, Muscle Shoals Sound Studio has impacted modern music in incredible ways. The Swampers, local musicians in the rhythm section of the studio, helped create classics we all know and love, including songs by Aretha Franklin, The Rolling Stones, Bob Dylan, and Leonard Skinner. Even today, musicians go to Muscle Shoals to find that spark, including the Black Keys and Chris Stapleton. That was an amazing tour, um, led by a local who like, actually knew the people that recorded here. Incredible. The next up for us is the Alabama Music Hall of Fame. And so we bought a pass today that was $25 and it gave us access to all of the museums in the area. And basically the tickets from Muscle Shoals were 20 bucks. So we're just gonna go to the rest of them and see what they have to offer. The building is a little bit nondescript. There's nobody else here, but you know, why not? Let's check it out. It's pretty interesting seeing the Alabama specific side of things here at this museum compared to the general country music museum and hall of fame that we went to in Nashville. Um, it's just really interesting and just so much history and so much culture here. Um, it's just nice to be. You know, I can't say we would come here if we didn't have the all-in-one ticket, but so far I'm enjoying walking around. Also, this old touring bus is low-key epic. I can you imagine like touring around with something like this nowadays? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine beds, two couches. Like, wow. This museum is so cool. 
it is blown away my expectations. There's so much information. It goes over so many different artists. I am learning a ton. I feel kind of like, uh, like drinking from a fire hose right now. But it is so well done. We're just we're learning a ton from a variety of different artists. Um, they have so many really unique artifacts from pieces of clothing to instruments to a whole bus to like different pieces of like recording equipment. Really cool. Next up is the birthplace of Helen Keller. This is also included in our pass and only a couple miles from the Alabama Music Hall of Fame. So we're knocking it out. At home in Tuscumbia, and originally it was on 640 acres. Today we have 10. Helen Keller is known for being both blind and deaf in the 1800s. So throughout her life, she championed the education and the cause to aid the blind and the deaf. And so this particular um, water pump is important because it was like an aha moment for her in her life. Um, whenever she could feel and understand what the wawa was, meaning like the water. Um, she was able to spell it, she was able to put a word to it. It really opened up and led to so many other words and her learning and going to college and so many other things. So many incredible things. Yeah. To me, Helen Keller's story is really about the power of language. You had this really unruly child, and through her amazing teacher, Alice, she learned about language, and that just transformed her life and really opened up the world for her because she was a very, very intelligent person, and she was able to use that and funnel that into doing so much good for the world. But then that was expanded because she shared that knowledge and understanding and communication and language with others who are in a very similar situation with her across the world, which was pretty remarkable for the time period. Next up, we are refilling ourselves at a local pizza place here in the region of Alabama and the Shoals region is the Pie Factory. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> no, don't leave me hanging. The pie place was delicious. It got a calzone. Jen got a uh, vegetable pizza. I mean, what more needs to be said? It was delicious. Right now we are at Fame Recording Studios. So this is the other very famous place that musicians recorded music here in Alabama. And so this place actually is still in operation. So we have to come after they're done recording for the day. So that's why we're here around 3.30 p.m. So we're excited to learn more about the musical production from the region. That was an awesome experience. Really getting to learn more about how records are produced in general, just how this whole process goes. Like, if Muscle Shoals was a little bit more about the history, this was more about the current, even though there was a lot of history too. So uh, any, any way that you want it, it's a great stop. One thing to note, this wasn't included in our pass. So this was another, I think, $14 a person. So still well worth it and it'll be our in our monthly expenses report so make sure you guys are signed up for that to see how much all this costs and it's 450 and the sun is already set <laughs> Oh, 
What did you think, babe? I thought today was awesome. We learned so much about music history in the United States. We learned about the process of producing music, so many famous musicians. It was awesome. Probably one of the highlight days of my loop experience. We had a full day today and like it may not have seen it with the vlog but pretty much every place we went to had a tour which lasted a while, gave us so much information. It was a blast. You can tour WC Handy's I think first house or something like that. He is the father of rhythm and blues. There's a Frank Lloyd Wright house here that you can tour. There's also a monument in the region called Tom's Wall which is just a memento for Tom's grandmother who literally walks to Alabama from Oklahoma and so there's a stone for each step that she took and there's five or eight million of these stones it's pretty incredible all that stuff we didn't we didn't get a chance to do we just we're out of daylight we're out of time and we had a full day here honestly like <laughs> Florence Alabama you could easily spend two full days here for us we got to keep moving so tomorrow we're going to be continuing our Chattanooga side trip by waking up really early. We need to hit the Wilson Dam by 7 a.m. I think. So that's the plan. And I'm going to a new town in Alabama. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. The next step for us is the Alabama Music Hall. Also this old, uh, <laughs> the WC Handy Museum. He is the father of rhythm and blue. You can. Now, Ollie, did you have a good day today at the boat? Did you meet some new friends? Some new fishermen? Did they say hi to you? <gasps> what? Did you protect the boat? Oh boy. You have a good day? Time for some lunch? Yeah. You want some food? <laughs> Go! <laughs>